This headline isn't from Milwaukee, it's from Chicago. The CTA, which runs the mass transit system in the Chicago area, already has a 1% sales tax, and yet they're asking to increase that sales tax and have fares go up to $2.75 for a bus ride. Or they're claiming they'll have to cut more than half of the bus routes in the CTA area. That's because they haven't addressed the cost of the system and they haven't found a stable form of state support for the system. Here in Milwaukee, my opponent says that she's open to raising the sales tax in order to help mass transit. And when she was asked outright whether she'd support extending the stadium tax to support things like light rail and the bus system, she said yes. That doesn't address the cost of the system, and it certainly doesn't address a stable form of state support, which is very important because only about 14% of the money to run the system comes from the property tax levy at the county level, whereas more than 40% comes from state government. I've got a plan to tackle costs by dealing with transit on a regional basis, and I've got a plan without raising taxes to get more support from the state government. Plus, I want to make sure the $91.5 million from the federal government that's been on the table since 1991 is used to upgrade and improve the current bus system, not spent on a downtown streetcar line or a new light rail system. There's a real difference in this race. My opponent wants higher taxes and light rail. I want a better bus system and more support from the state.